Hi, I'm Lisa B, the Senior Youth Program Specialist here at the Crosby Library. And today, we're going to learn how to make a story pop-up book. This is an example. Here's the fox in the grass, sneaking around. What's he looking for? See how your imagination can come alive with a pop-up book. So to start you off, we have some easy ones to show you. This one is just a simple square fold. So I'll show you how that's done. Take your paper, fold it in half, and cut two cuts approximately equal distance in the middle. After you've cut, fold that. Increase well. Flip it the other way, crease well again. Then pop it out. This creates the simplest fold that can be used for a pop-up book or a card. Again, take your squared paper, fold exactly in half, crease well. This time we're going to make the cut a little closer to the end of one side. Then we're going to fold up so that we have formed a square. You see the square? This triangle and that triangle. Then we're going to take the other side and fold up. This time we can't see the triangle, but let's fold it down again. We can see the triangle. This triangle and this triangle. Crease well. Let's also crease again by flipping it over and recreasing in the opposite direction. Let's open up and see what we have. So pop it out. As we pop it out, we close it. And recrease this new fold on both sides. What does that look like? You're right. You could come pick up some more supplies at the library and make a chicken. Or an owl. How about this one? The abominable snowman. All I did with this is do the same triangle cuts, but give him jagged teeth. Also, in this nonfiction book, it inspired me to make the fox in the grass. Can you see it? Let's make our book green and the pop-up blue. So the first thing you would do is fold the card or your book in half. And then you're going to take this piece and cut it in half. Now you have the portion of your pop-up that will be smaller than the card or the book. Once you fold it in half, you're going to create some stands. And this is done by folding a small portion of the bottom. This is about a fourth of an inch. 
I'm recreasing it over and over again because this is going to give me the most flexibility when my pop-up book moves open. Then you want to chop off just the corners of those folds and recrease again. Lots of flexibility. Okay, this will be your book inside your card. So I'm going to be using Elmer's glue and liquid Elmer's glue works well. I find that the this um, roll-on one works the best. So you're going to cover that one real well. That's one side. And put it into your book at an angle. Now the one thing to remember about this first time you lay it down is that this crease here will be directly in the center of your book crease. Okay? Then you're going to add a little glue to the other side. Again, I haven't attached but one side as of now. So now that I have glue on here, I'm going to go ahead and close my pop-up, make sure the flap is laying down, and then close my book on top of the pop-up. This allows for the angles to form correctly. So back to the fox in the grass. The first thing I did was cut my son. 